We're always looking for ways to make improvements to our gear without breaking the bank. So here are GTN's best value upgrades. If you haven't already got a TT or triathlon bike, then adding aero bars like these ones to your road bike could be one of the best upgrades you'll make. What they do is allow you to get into a more aerodynamic position, meaning you can increase your speed for the same effort. And the nice thing with these clip-on bars is that you can add them to almost any road bike handlebar, making your life that little bit easier and cheaper. If you are adding aero bars to a road bike, you may want to consider bringing your saddle height up and the saddle position forward. Now, bringing the saddle forward actually allows you to get into a more comfortable and powerful position on the aero bars, but it does actually create a bit more flex in the legs, almost as if you've dropped the saddle height. So, we just counteract this by lifting the saddle height up slightly. Now, it does all take a little bit of trial and error, so we advise you tweaking it and playing around with it yourself. Before you clip the aero bars on, a nice little tip is to add a bit of electrical tape around the handlebars so that you're protecting the bars and the surface. Forget tying your shoes up in T2, simply pull them on in seconds using these elastic laces. There are a number of different elastic laces, but they all do the same thing really. So simply pull out your original laces, and replace them with your elastic laces. You want the laces tight enough to hold your foot securely, but with enough flex so that you can pull them on quickly in T2. And once you've got that right, you can just cut off this excess elastic to make it nice and neat. Now, this isn't gonna shave minutes off your race time, but it's one of the cheapest upgrades to save you those valuable seconds. Tires are so often overlooked, but they can hugely affect how a bike rides. Plus, a worn out tire could hinder or even put a stop to ride. And nobody wants that, especially in a race after all the training that you've put in. A lighter tire improves the rotating weight, which in turn improves the responsiveness of the bike. And better quality tires will feel a little bit more supple on the roads, which again improves the responsiveness. And if you want a more comfortable ride, why not consider switching from a 23 mil tire to a 25 like I've got on this wheel here. And a bonus is that 25 has been proven to have less rolling resistance, which means you can ride faster for the same effort. A tri suit is designed to be worn from start to finish to save you the time and hassle of trying to change clothing between each discipline. And if it's a wetsuit swim, simply wear your tri suit underneath. Now, a tri suit isn't just for convenience, it's for comfort too. And if you've ever tried running in cycling shorts, it has rather large padding that can chafe. So a tri suit has slightly thinner and more supple padding, which has enough cushioning for the bike, but not so much that you feel it on the run. Plus, it's a lot quicker than getting changed in each transition. Cassettes do wear out with use, but what we're gonna be focusing on here are the number of teeth on the cassette. Now, if you're planning on riding a hilly route or even a hilly race, you might want to consider a cassette with slightly more teeth so that you're not grinding up the climbs. So a popular gear option is something like an 1128, like I have on this bike, just because it's versatile for most courses. But obviously you can opt for something slightly greater like an 1132. Alternatively, if you're planning on riding a flat course, you might want to go for something with less of a jump. So something like an 1125, where you're gonna be holding a much higher speed. Okay, maybe not the cheapest upgrade, but the improvement a well-fitted wetsuit can make to your performance is staggering. Having water flooding in or holes in your wetsuit will be holding you back during the swim. Now, everyone wants to be able to get their wetsuits on super quick, but actually, a well-fitted wetsuit should take you five to 10 minutes to put on properly. Wetsuits are now designed with 
differing buoyancy in mind. For instance, if you drag your legs whilst you're swimming in the pool, you may want a wetsuit with more buoyancy in the legs to help lift you to a neutral position. So do your research on the wetsuit before you buy it to help match that to your swim style. We all need to fuel and hydrate in a triathlon, especially in the longer distance races. And actually, the shape and position of your bottles can greatly affect your aerodynamics and your speed. So instead of using a standard bottle on the down tube, perhaps consider using something like this, which is an aero bottle, which neatly fits in on a down tube like that. Another option is to use an aero bottle with a straw like this one and you can just place these between your aero bars. So basically you don't need to move from your aero position to take a drink. And conveniently a lot of these have an opening at the top so that you can refill them on the go. More isn't necessarily better when it comes to saddles. It's important that you're comfortable and sometimes that can be achieved with a cheaper saddle. So finding a saddle that works for you can have a big impact on your bike performance. These two-prong split nose style saddles have become really popular in triathlon lately. Whilst they may look a little odd, they are meant to relieve pressure, increase comfort and improve your position on the bike. So they do this by allowing you to rotate your hips around a little bit more and get yourself into a more powerful and aerodynamic position. Finding the right saddle is totally personal. What works for one person may not necessarily work for another person, so it's worth having a look around first. Those are the GTN best value upgrades, but if you have any other great suggestions, please drop them in the comments below. And to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to Global Triathlon Network by clicking on the globe. And to see our indoor versus outdoor running video, just click down here. And to see our how to tumble turn in the swimming pool video, just click down here.